I'm Meg Short. Um, I'm in the Bristol District Office in Environmental. I'm a threatened and endangered species specialist. Today we are looking at this bridge and trying to see if there's bat use on this bridge. We need to know about these bats because many of them are endangered and if we are going to do any maintenance work or replacement on these bridges we need to be able to coordinate with the agency so it's really important to be familiar with the bat sign. A uh, year or so ago in March we saw a little tricolored bat hanging um, from the metal deck pan and they were just staying the night um, like a little hotel stay. So I do not hear any bats and I do not see uh, so I do see some staining there. If you look at the top of these pier caps, you can see piles of what looks like mouse droppings. That's actually from the bats. And those are telltale signs that bats are using the bridge. So we have this uh, endoscope that we just ordered so that we can look in the joints of bridges. The joints are sealed at the top and they're waterproof. So the bats can fly up under and stay in these joints and, and it allows them to be warmer throughout the evening. They hold heat and they make a really good place for bats to raise their young. This mountainous area in Virginia is one of the biodiversity hot spots. We have more threatened and endangered species than anywhere else in the state and most places in the nation. So that's freshwater fish, freshwater mussels, and bats. Anytime BDOT has a bridge or a culvert that needs to be replaced, and it may take place in some of these habitats where these mussels live, we need to be able to move these mussels so that we don't end up killing them or endangering them in any way. VDOT was doing a bridge project upstream and had a survey conducted. And um, as a result, um, the state endangered mussel was found. The Department of Game and Land Fish was able to get breeding stock of these mussels, um, successfully rear young, and they're getting ready to release them back into the wild. Um, and that was, that was because VDOT was doing the right thing. I have always loved biology ever since I was little. Some people are called to preach, some people are called to teach, um, I love critters. You never know what's next to your roads and under your bridges. There's a lot, there are a lot of critters out there and that's uh, one of the exciting parts of this job.